Hello, Stockton University. Welcome back to The Nest. I'm Jackson Boisvert. And I'm Cole Van Cleve. Excited to be back with an extra special episode tonight. So get ready, Stockton. You have just entered The Nest. Interested in public relations or marketing? Well, Stockton's brand new advertising club might be a good choice for you. Currently named Pine Branding, the club is looking for Stockton students interested in entering the career fields related to PR, marketing, journalism, advertising, and graphic design. Email Kat Wenzel if interested. Tyler Osborne of the Argo breaks down the memo released by the White House that claimed the abuse of power by the Department of Justice and claimed that the FBI unseemly spied on the Trump campaign in the 2016 election. Stockton hosted the first annual Unite Against Hate Day on February 6th. Former member of a hate group, Arno Michaelis, was the keynote speaker, addressing students and faculty on how he made the adjustment into a new life of acceptance. Turn to the front page of the Argo for more. The XFL is expected to make a comeback in 2020. Vince McMahon is leading the rush to recreate the once forgotten football league and recreate it with an eight-team format and a 10-week regular season. While no confirmed cities yet, the XFL tweeted out to fans on what cities they think should host a team. Hello Stockton University. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, we're going to play a little special game here at The Nest. I like to call it Newsman Matchmaker. I'm here with three mysterious bachelorettes, while my co-host Colton is outside waiting to speak to these girls. The way the game works is simple. Colton will ask these girls a question, they will each answer, and he will decide which contestant's answer he likes the best. That contestant will earn a point, and the girl with the most points at the end of the game will win a date with the charming Colton Van Cleve. Question number one, ladies. What are you passionate about? Contestant number one? McDonald's and helping others. A good answer. Contestant number two? Um, cats and making people happy. Well said. Contestant number three? Writing. Solid. Colton, which contestant's answer did you like the best? All right, congratulations, contestant number one. That's one point. Question two. Ladies, if you were a flavor of ice cream, what flavor would you be and why? This is very important. Contestant number one. I would be double dunker because it's a party in your mouth. Well said. Contestant two. Um, I would say vanilla because, I mean, it's plain, but someone ends up picking it. Well put. Contestant number three? I would be chocolate because it's delicious. Nicely put. Colton, which answer did you prefer the best? Contestant number two, you have a point. We have a tied game with contestant number one and contestant number two. Next question. What is your favorite thing about Colton? Contestant one? His face. Solid. Contestant two? Um, his face. All right. Two for his face. Contestant three? His face. Colton, everyone likes your face here. I say that's the way the game works. All right, ladies, contestant number three, with one point, while contestant number two and one are tied with two. This is the final question and might be the deal breaker. All right, ladies, where would you want to go on your first date with Mr. Colton Van Cleve? Contestant one. I would want to go to like a natural reserve or the woods because it's mysterious. Mysterious. Contestant two. Um, I would say the beach just because it's nice to play in the sand and the water. Beach. Sounds fun. Contestant three. I would say maybe go out, get some sushi, you know, walk around a nice town. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's it. 
Very well put. Colton, which answer do you prefer the most? Well, with that answer, we have our winner, the first girl to reach three points, and the winner of a date with Colton Van Cleve. Contestant number one. <laughs> Congratulations. Any remarks to say before you meet him? I'm excited. She's excited, Colton. Colton, you chose contestant number one, but there are two girls leaving alone tonight. I'm going to need you to turn your head completely to the right. Now remove your blindfold and see the two ladies that did not win your heart tonight. Those poor, poor girls. All right, Colton. Well, it's time to meet your winner. It's time for you to look to your left and lock eyes with contestant number one. Hey, I have to say, Jackson, she is as beautiful in person as she sounded. Well, that's our show. Thank you so much for joining us and have a happy Valentine's Day, Stockton. I'm Colton. And I'm Jackson. We're Stockton University's most trusted news source. Like and subscribe below.